Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to my cool, my cool, with quotes, my cool craft room. So not totally fixed, but it's running and that's all I care about. I wanted to share with you something I got from Carol Luce. Um, she uh, sent me something and it got returned. And so I just thought this was so beautiful. I wanted to share it. Look at that. It's an envelope. Isn't that so cute? And on the back, there's a pocket. I think, I could be wrong, but I think this is scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby. I think I used to have this pad. Absolutely loved it. And that's so pretty with um, lace at the bottom. Really, really pretty. And then a pocket on the back. Larkspur. This is a little envelope. It gives you uh, the Larkspur details. And look at this cute little tag inside. Isn't that adorable? I love that. And this tag here with, with the layers. Handmade by Carol. So cute. Thank you. Thank you, Carol, so much. I think we might have to make one of these. Never seen a little tab like that. Isn't that adorable? Look at that. And then look what she did. She got her edge punch out. Yep, she did. This is so, and stencil work on the back. This is just cute as can be. And I absolutely love how when you put this in, this little flapper lady from the 20s shows right up right where she is supposed to. Look at that, guys. Isn't that cute? But you're going to have to let us know where you got a hold of that because... This is adorable, Carol. Thank you, thank you so, so much. Love that. All right, now, Index Card Friday. Let me get a little sip of something, something. I uh, kind of went ahead and took a cue from last week's uh, Linda's Design. And I modified it. Of course I modified it. I just thought for Index Card Friday, it would be really cute. So we're taking a take on that. I made a tag. And that's so pretty. Tim Holtz. And then what I cut off, I just kind of collaged on the back. Thought that was cute. Use some uh, trim from, uh, I think it's... Junkins Journal Junkin no Junkin Sisters oh I I've, I've told you about them before and now I can I can't remember Journal Junkin Sisters if I find it and I remember I will put this in the description box where you can get trims because they're fantastic they I I can't even say enough about them then I added a little bit of Tim Holtz here on the front made a tag did some collage work. Looks like we're kind of, well, let's not rip it, Charlotte. Let's just glue it. It's a vintage piece of paper. And so I think if you don't get it all down well, you're going to have issues. So isn't that cute? Yep, Tim Holtz. There you go. Just a little scrappy thing but thought it was really, really cute, and it fits nicely in here. So sometimes when you do a frame, you got a little issue with this part down here, but I know, I hear you saying, where is the index card? Well, you open this up, this is what's different, because in the one we did, we would have closed this off. So it's the same thing, but instead of closing this off down here and having this as a tuck, you're gonna open this up, and there's your index card. Now, after I looked at this, I thought, why did you put your index cards in sideways? I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. So let's just see if we can have them going the other way. But isn't it cute? I love this idea. Cute, cute. So you have to find a way to keep it closed. And 
If you have a paper clip there, you could go ahead and put a little something. And I'm looking around going, do I have a little something? I never have a something when I need it. That'd be the truth. Let's use carols. You could use this and just, um, you don't put it all the way down because obviously this is open, but you could use it like that, see, because this is going to keep it tight enough. So you could have a three pocket. I didn't do anything on the back, but you could if you wanted to. You could add a pocket. You could add a belly band like we did with the Linda's. But I just loved this idea. So that's why I did it. So let's make one. I took a piece of scrapbook paper, not cardstock. And I didn't write anything down, so let's see if I can remember what I did. Kind of folded it, I think, at the seven or wherever. About right there. So let me get this down and then we'll measure it. I did this the other day. So let's see if... I can recall. I think it's about seven. Seven? No, it isn't either. It is seven and three quarters. So seven, seven and three quarters by twelve. So we are going to want to. I'm going to take a chance at the scoreboard. And I know I scored at four and at eight, and then I cut the ends off a little bit because it just was going to overlap. And that wouldn't work. So you have to be, when you're dealing with scrapbook paper, really careful because I have a tendency to have the scoring tool go right through the paper, and that's a big no-no. That, that is not going to work. Then I, I already know I have to trim a little bit off this edge. So I'm going to take about an eighth. And I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Because when we go to fold it, you're going to run into issues. You can keep your scrap or not keep your scrap. Then we're going to fold this. Hoping that I did score it enough that we don't tear, but we know where our score line is. And then we're gonna do the same thing here. Just like this. And the reason we took the eighth off, as you can see, so that we get a really nice fold here. Okay, then different from what we did when we did the project is I'm taking this and I am going to fold it this way. Why? I don't know. I just decided that this is what I was going to do instead of cutting it off. I folded it. And I'm pretty sure, see that's folded, that's folded. I don't know why I just decided that's what I was going to do. So then that comes like this. And you're going to give it a good burnish because now we've got four layers of paper up there. And we're going to do the same thing over here. I think I did this because I didn't do it on the other one. And I just wanted to see how this would turn out. So just making sure before we go any further that everything fits and it is, I see this comes over just a tiny bit. So we're going to cut that off. I don't need it to come over. As a matter of fact, I'd like it to come in a bit. So we're going to take not, maybe not quite an eighth or maybe, let's see. 
It might be about an eight, but I can feel the bulk. You will feel the bulk in this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get out your glue and we are just going to just put some glue, just run some glue. And we're gonna glue this down. Doesn't have to be anything perfect. You're just going to, let's see. If we want this whole thing up here glued, because we don't need this corner. If you feel by chance you have too much bulk, then by all means, cut it. You can cut this off and then just glue where your fold would be. Just cut it. And don't forget, you have a double layer here. So run a little bit of glue under there. This is just to do a little something, something different with this project. I love this project. I think it's cool and you can use this. You can use this idea in any journal, any size. It doesn't have to be large like this. It could be much smaller be anything you want it to be okay so now look at it's just so pretty okay so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna glue this down and on the index card I don't think we glued this we just glued the bottom we may have glued this I can't remember it didn't matter if you did or not but on here we're gonna glue it we're gonna glue up the side can you all hear that machine work in that air conditioning isn't that just like music to your ears makes me so happy okay this we want open see there that's what we've got isn't that cool okay now i'm gonna get one of my super duper grand index cards that my husband bless his heart he uh felt bad that he had gotten me the wrong thing so he went to a different walmart and he picked these up this is what i originally wanted the guy thinks big that's for sure so now we're gonna get grab a pencil and I think we're gonna do this this way we're gonna do it we're gonna take this right up to the bottom of that fold line okay so I have to see where that is we are going to cut this right there and we're gonna cut this probably, it looks like almost right in half, although not quite, because this side definitely looks bigger than this side. So get out your cutter. Let's, I know I use this upside down. People tell me that. Dana said, I hope you know you're using that upside down. And I said, well, I'm left-handed. So to me, it's not upside down. To me, it is the way it should be. You can keep this or throw this piece away. And we are gonna cut this right there at that mark and keep our fingers crossed that it is correct and that I didn't mess up. I have been known to mess up. I'm gonna put this right there like that. Now, as I look at this, I can't help but wonder why I did the other ones sideways. Who knows? I was uh, thinking sideways that day, I guess. Mark that. Cut this. And we should be done with the cutting until we get to the tag. Y'all didn't think we were really done, did you? When you see that, you know you need a new blade. Yeah, but I'm not gonna waste your time sitting here watch, watching me stick a new blade in there. So I hope, beyond hope, that this works. I want this to kind of come over this way because when you fold it, if there's any, see how that's a little bit shorter? You don't wanna see index card here. 
So you want to watch out for that. So we're going to put this one in first, and I'm not going to use glue gun or, or a, uh, a uh, glue stick. I am going to use my wet glue, my um, art glitter glue. I'm going to turn this this way just because I need to be able to see up here where the top of that scrapbook paper is. I don't mind the line in between. If that bothers you, get out some washi tape and just run a piece of washi tape down there. That looks really good, doesn't it? So if you don't like that, um, you have options. So I'm going to put this right on the edge there, and then I'm going to close this and see. We're not going to show anything. See that? Because this is cut almost right to the edge. This is a little shy of the edge. There's no right or wrong. You do it the way you like it. Actually, I have to thank Hubby because um, these large, there's little to no waste with these large ones on this project. I probably would have had to use two of the other side size and there would have been quite a bit of waste. So this was a good buy. What do you think? What do you think? And there's all different ways that you could close this. You could put a ribbon around here and keep it closed that way. You could hang a charm off of here because of the post. You get a little mini, uh, they're not Tim Holtz. Um, I think um, Brenda sent those to me, um, a little mini paper clip. So cute, right? Well, we need a tag, don't we? We have to have a tag. So, let me see if I remember what I did. And I didn't pull paper, so that's not very smart. But I'm pretty sure I used some packaging material for that card. And I'm pretty sure it was this. So I'm going to cut the top off of this. And I'll do it on camera because I know some of you... Um, if you're not at all familiar, you like to see everything. So we have, this runs about probably just a little bit less than four is what my guess is. Yep, it is one eighth shy of four inches. So I'm going to go, because these are folds and there's no glue up here, I'm going to go three and three quarters and let's see if that's going to fit. So three and three quarters. And before we do anything, we're gonna give it a shot because we might have to take a little bit more off. Don't be surprised if we do. And we want it to slide in and out easily. We don't wanna have to wrestle with it. Now, if I took that open that and put this in and I don't really want to have to do that because we've got glue down there that is still too big so let's take we'll save that piece because you never know let's take another quarter off so then it would have been three and a half and this should slide in and out nicely I think we want to make sure always check And we're not. Man, what size is this one? Let's see. Okay, just like an eighth of an inch off of there. I'm not going to bother to measure that because however you do yours, you're going to have to determine 
how uh, much or how little comes off. So this is, let's just make this three and a quarter. Boy, we went from three and three quarters to three and a quarter. Now I know this is going to fit, so I'm not even gonna mess with it. I'm have egg on my face if it doesn't, but I'm pretty sure it will. I kinda would betcha it will. There we go. All right, so now, paper, paper which Charlotte did not get out. So, paper which, what do we have? Let's see. Uh, what's gonna go with that? Ooh, it's odd, odd colors. Oh, no. Here is the back side of what I, oh, I do not like that. Okay, odd, kind of orangey, bluey green. Oh, I don't think so. Oh my goodness. That would be pretty for the back, or it might be really pretty for the front. I am taking a look, guys. I am right here just taking a look. Mm. Ooh, I kind of like that. Maybe. Let's go with that. I don't want to be here all day looking for paper. So, let's go with that. I think this is colorful. It might look really pretty. Let's see what we think. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so we'll put make this the back. So we're gonna take and we're gonna glue that right on there like that. Then we're gonna cut this out. All right, doesn't matter when you're using packing material, the front or the back. Both are gonna work. And you can always take and stitch, you know, like when we were doing the project. Stay tuned, I'll show you what project is coming up next. Still working on that gorgeous, gorgeous Halloween flip-flop journal. I am in love with that journal. It is sold, by the way. So, um, I'm really happy about that. We have to decorate it. We're going to do that together. And I think let's go ahead and use the cutter. Yes, I thought we were done with the cutter, but I lied. We're not. We're not. Sometimes I can really mess this up. So far, so good. Of course, now we have scraps. We love scraps. Let's see. Okay, so there is that side. Don't put her away. You're going to use it again. Now we're going to do this butterfly. Oh, maybe that's the prettier way to go. That's upside down. I think we're going to go that way. So, you get out your glue, Stamperia, lilac flowers. That was that was a gorgeous, gorgeous paper pad. I have no idea if it's still available, but that was pretty, pretty, pretty. I think I did some envelopes out of that. That's what I created. It was a while back. I always keep the cover because um, here's a tag. You can cut this and make that a tag. There's a tag. So you always can find great uses for the cover of your Stamperia paper pad. All right, let's see if I got that on well. And of course, I have a little hairline right here. 
which always throws everything off. So we're going to cut this. And we need reinforcers. Beverly sent us lots of reinforcers, and I have had so much fun using those. Not throwing that out. Obviously, we have those really pretty butterflies on the other side. I'm not going to lose that. Pretty, pretty. And did I probably corner round it or something? Yes, I quarter rounded. So we're going to do that. I'm still thinking, guys, I know you're having mixed feelings about Index Card Friday ending next year. So I think if you'll let me know, let's kind of take a vote. What I would replace Index Card Friday with is fun Friday surprise. And what that means is you'll never know what we're going to do that Friday. It's going to be a surprise. But it'll still be a giveaway, okay? So the giveaways would not go away. But the um, index card, it might rear its head. It's possible that I would do something with the index card. So let me know in the comments, and I will see... Um, what's popular, a fun Friday surprise, or index cards. Continue with the index cards. When I talk about a fun Friday surprise, what I mean by that is we would do, one week might be tags, one week might be envelopes, doing something with envelopes, one week might be pockets, one week might be, um, snippets or ruffles or just different just different things that you can incorporate into your journals so that's kind of what I'm thinking about so just let me know okay well I already know red isn't gonna work and I don't think there's any burgundy but do I have white I have a cream color right there that's perfect perfect I don't think pink will work Pink's not going to look good with that. That's just some funny colors. I don't see any burgundy, so that's perfect. I can't imagine sitting there die cutting all of that, the work that went into this. Don't think for a second that I'm not really, really appreciative because I am. And I just came across a black cat, so I had to pull it out because it's going to be perfect for the uh, Halloween journal. Okay, so we're going to glue this on. And to do that, I just hope everybody's doing well. I'm finally getting to asking you. Beautiful. And beautiful. I love these enforcers. I used to be such an eyelet person, but since I got these, I love, love using these. And now I don't know if I have any Oh, ribbon or pink is not going to work. Does that work? Oh, that'll work. We're going to use this. And this will be good going through the mail. I won't tie a bow because um, if I did, it adds bulk and I have an issue. So I'm doing that. Doing that. Hopefully this is long enough that whoever gets this, if you want a bow, you can create a bow. You can do what you want to do with this. And um, I think the back is good. The back is pretty. 
I'm gonna put something on the front of this just so there's something, something. Let me, let's get to this first. What do we wanna put here? Do we want to, you know what? That might be pretty. Or we could, oh, I kinda like that. I have to admit, I really kind of like the idea of this. I, you know what, guys? This is what I'm going to do. I just like it. I think that's really pretty. And then we'll see if we have something. If I had a butterfly, it would be really, really nice. But I don't think I do. So we need to cut this about like that. And about like that. see this like that and I think we're right there okay Ooh, just yeah I like the idea of a butterfly I think this is gonna be really really cute okay Take a little thumb notch and put this down and then let's look and see. What we've got. Weird colors to um, match, just kind of strange. So, let me get out. I have some butterfly stamps. Let's see if I have any that will I'm sorry, Maggie. She's underneath my desk. Ooh, that's pretty. That is pretty. It's not a butterfly, but I like that. Well, that would work. Let's see. You know what happens is you, you get too many choices, and when you have too many choices, Oh, I think that. When you have too many choices, you just can't make your mind up. That's, uh, you know, it's an issue for me. As my daughter would say, it's a thing. You know, it wasn't a thing before, and then it becomes a thing. And she's right. Oh, that's pretty too, though. Maybe. What do we like best? This one is upside down, Charlotte. Is it upside down? No. Okay. This or this. Speak to me, guys. What do you think? I think I like this. Let's use that. Let's put this on there. This is probably one of those ones that where Michelle Birdsong said, use your tape, get your tape out. Ooh, it came right out, so we're good. Okay, try to get it on there straight. Because that always helps. Oh, yeah, it needed that. That's really pretty. But I feel like we need something here, but we need something larger than a, well, maybe not. But maybe not the same thing. How about that? Or 
Not a fish. Not a squirrel. Let me see if I see anything else while I'm putting this away. Um, water lilies. Or that one. Okay, we've got three. Let's let it be between the three and we'll figure it out because we have a little tag to make. So, I'll be sitting here all day looking for stamps. It's silly. Okay, so there's that one, that one, or this one. This one I like, but you can't really tell what the flowers are. I think maybe that. The water lilies. Don't I don't like the water lilies with this. So we are going to use that. Put this away, maybe. And we're gonna put this on the tag. I haven't been to the post office this week, guys, so last week's winners, it's still sitting here. I promise next week I will go to the post office. It's just been, ugh, so hot. So I will get this week's winners and last week's out next week, early next week, I promise. Okay, what do you think? So this will go in here. And whoever wins this, you can put words on here. You can do whatever you want with this if you want to add more. Isn't that cute? Oh, boy. Cute. Now we need, yep, we do. And you know what I love to use for these? Lavish laces. I've got some laces from them and love them. That would work. I have something a little bit bigger. No, no. What did I use here? I don't know what I used there. Let's see. All of these are. Is that bigger? No, it's the same size, so I might as well use that. But let me see if I can find something maybe. Maybe, maybe, just a little bit bigger. Yeah, I think we're going to go with that. I think we will. Let's see, I think that's the same thing. We're going to go with, I think that's what I did there. So we're going to go with this. So we're going to cut this, and we're coming up with the same issue. What? Paper, because that's just a strange 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 color when i came up with this i didn't even think about that so we need probably a half an inch off of this okay guys i'm putting this in my lap where i can see it this measures approximately three and a half so we're going to go to three let's check it out because if i do it and then it doesn't fit yep not too tall. I think that'll work. So we're going to go with that. And now we have to find paper. That's the hardest part. Finding the paper. So let me pull out just a few scraps. That won't work. Not pretty paper, but ugh, doesn't look good. About that. Ugh. Don't like that or that. Wonder that's not wide enough. Thought I could cut it, but the colors are funky. You know, it kind of looks good, but it kind of it doesn't do anything. So let's keep looking. You know what? I'll just get in my scraps. These are my large scraps. Let's get in the smaller scraps. And when you see this, you're not gonna believe it. I know. It's bad. Look at this scrap box. It's bad. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yep, it's bad. Ooh, there's a vintage piece of paper. Ooh, this might work. We used some of this last week. Maybe that will work. 
I don't think this is wide enough, but let's check it out. That is not going to work. That won't work. That is scrap. That might work. I know, guys. Don't be, don't be writing me about my scrap mess. I, because I already know, I already know, I have a scrap mess. So, yeah, I don't need to hear about it. I won't let my husband see it for obvious reasons. Oh, it might work. Let's see. Ooh, a little bit of this might be too heavy. How about, what are you keeping this for? Maybe a little bit of that. All right, let's see if we can make do with that. I know we need to do something with this because it's bad. If, if it gets too bad, I'll just recycle it all. Okay, this, I don't know what I was thinking. Well, it's not too bad, but it's way too small. I'm thinking this. Whew, it's bright, it'll open your eyes. Well, we're gonna make do with what we've got here. I kinda like that. I really had not planned on collaging, but maybe. So I do kinda like that. Okay, I am going to glue well, let's collage the front first. Does that say snuggle or smuggle? Snuggle. Snuggle. That's cute. Let's put that on there. Snuggle. Oh, sodomite. Oh my goodness. I didn't say that. I don't even want to read what that is, but it doesn't sound good. That's, um, that didn't sound good. Okay, snuggle and hmm. Now, this isn't gonna work, is it? Put that there. I don't think that air conditioner stopped since it started. Okay. And I don't want to lose the rose. So I'll do that. I'm liking this. I'm bound and determined I'm gonna use what I pulled out. As you can tell, we're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work and look at, I still kept the word, snuggle, snuggle. Okay, and then we need something at the bottom. I don't know, that's not it. So I think we're gonna go, hmm. Yep, that works. Am I on camera? So you can use whatever side you want on this tag. Isn't gonna matter. It's all gonna work. That's what we wanted. Look how cute. That's so cute. Okay, so we can get rid of this and this and this. Oh my goodness, my mess is already starting again. Isn't that cute? All right, then on here, we're gonna put this. Just because it works. It works, the piece is big enough. Why not? So yeah, thumbs up please, and let me know in the comments.
if you want to do a fun Friday surprise or if you want to stay with the index cards. Personally, I think a fun Friday surprise would keep things interesting. Okay, we're going to cut. I don't want to tear because I usually end up having to cut anyway. So, what's the point? Because I just love it when I put my scissors through wet glue. That happens all the time. And I think, yep, I rounded corners. So, we're going to round corners. But I want to keep this snuggle. Okay. Yeah, I can tell by the comments you all have mixed feelings. But I don't blame you. Change, sometimes it's scary. Because you, you know what you've got. You don't know what you're going to get. But that's half the fun, not knowing what you're going to get. All right. So. It looks like. This here missed the mark. So now what are we going to do? Okay, well, do you see that? We could leave it, but I don't, you know, I don't think so. So what are we going to do there? Okay, what you got, Charlie? What you got? I don't want that. Oh boy, just when you think things are going to be easy peasy. And then they're not. Okay, we're going to do that. So, we're going to pull this out. Or this is ending up to be quite the index card Friday, isn't it? Well, that's crooked. Jeez, I ruined that. Did y'all see that? What was I thinking? Goodness, goodness. And it's not hot in here. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do that because, because we can, and because we really need to. So, it may not be on camera, but just applying glue. Okay. We have a faux pas. So we're going to fix that by putting this on here like this. Just like that. And then we have to cut the corner. So we've got to cut this corner off and go around. Oh, and I did it, and I did it well. Let's see if I can do it again. Do it well. Come on, Charlotte. Yep. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, guys, that is our index card, except for our little, our little doodah -y thing that we need. Our little thingy here. Okay. So, this can go in this way and be ever, look at that, so cute, or it can go in this way, and hopefully it'll be cute, just like, just like that, there we go, look at that, guys, oh, that's a door. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. Alrighty, so that is the index card for today. Isn't that so cute? Alright, so then, more scraps for my pile. Okay, I am giving away. I'm going to give these two away today, and yes, I will put something in them. This was Sherry's idea. I've got these, I'm gonna give these two away, and like I said, I'll put ephemera in here before they go out, but this was Brenda, 
and this is ready to go. So let's give Miss Brenda's away. And Miss Brenda is going to Roseanne in Ohio. Okay, Roseanne. There you go, my sweet girl. And how about this one? Isn't that so cute? And like I said, I will put ephemera in all these pockets so it won't go out naked, naked. Okay. I hope I can open her up, give her away. Okay. Oh, Karen B. That's Karen Billinger. All right, Karen. This will be coming to you. And this one, same thing. I will put goodies in there. So, so cute. How about the only names that I'm putting back in here until all of these are used up are newbies. So, you... Um, you know, don't lose hope because I'm not like Karen's name won't go back in here until we're done with this. So how about Annette DePete? All right, sweet friend, this is yours. I promise I will get all of these out this coming week. I can finally be in here and I can think and I can function. So guys, have a fantastic weekend. I really, really hope you enjoyed this. Thank you, thank you once again for all the ideas. The next project we're going to work on is Shelby Creations. That is Michelle Birdsong, and it is this loveliness. And as you can see, this is going to take a little bit of planning. Um, Michelle doesn't do anything easy. This comes off, so I'm gonna have to have the time to figure this out so that we can get started. So this is the last project from uh, last month. I'm excited to do this. I saved this for the last because it's going to take the longest. So everyone, have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about Friday starting next year. Take care. Thank you so much for all your support. Hugs, everyone. Bye.